Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss this packet tracer activity, configuring IPv4 and IPv6 interfaces. Okay, before coming to this packet tracer activity, friends, if you are watching our channel first time, or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get a notification message whenever we upload a new video. Now, coming back to our packet tracer activity, here we can see our addressing table. In this activity, we will configure IPv4 and IPv6 addressing and we will verify uh, these uh, uh, IPv4 and IPv6 uh, connectivity. First of all, we will do IPv4 addressing. So coming to step 1, assign IPv4 addresses to R1 and LAN devices. Coming to our topology, here we can see uh, the device R1 and its uh, uh, LAN. Referring to uh, the addressing table, configure IP addressing for R1 LAN interfaces, PC1 and PC2. The serial interface has already configured. Right. Here we are going to configure these two interfaces. Uh, that is uh, Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 on this device R1. Also, we will configure uh, these end devices PC1 and PC2 as per our addressing table. Coming to our addressing table, here we can see the device R1 uh, and interface a G0 slash 0. So first of all, we will configure this interface uh, Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Here we can see the IP address. We will copy this uh, IP address. Also, here we can see the submit mask. Okay. So coming to R1. You will go to CLI. Password. It's Cisco. Enable. Password is class. Now configure terminal. We will go to the interface that is a gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. And here we will set the IP address as per our addressing table. We already copied it. Here is that. Then we have to give the IP subnet to mask. It's here. 128 now we will bring this interface up by this command no shutdown now we can see the link between this r1 and sw1 is up now we will go to the next interface on this device r1 it's a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 so we will copy this ip address and here we can see the submit to mask. So coming back to our device R1. Now we will exit from this gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. And we will go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. And we will set the IP address as per our addressing table. So it's here. Then the IP submit to mask. Now we will bring this interface up by this command no shutdown. Now here we can see the link between this uh, router R1 and the switch SW2 is up. Okay, right. So now uh, we will save the configuration. We will exit from this mode. We will press Ctrl Z. Enter. Here we will give a copy running config startup config. Okay. Now we will assign IP address for these end devices. First of all, we will assign for this PC1. So here we can see PC1, its IP address. We will copy this IP address and coming to PC1, desktop, IP configuration. Here we will give the IP address. 
submit to mask for the octet is uh, so here we can see 255.255.255.128 so we will change according to that 255.128 okay now coming to the default gateway we'll copy and here we will give the default gateway for this pc1 okay now we will configure pc2 here we can see the ip address so we will copy it coming to pc2 desktop ip configuration here we will give the ip address then this submit to mask we can copy this submit to mask okay then the default gateway right now our next step is verify connectivity pc1 and pc2 should be able to ping each other and the dual stack server okay we will verify that we will get the ip address of pc2 it's here now coming to pc1 we will go to command prompt and we will give a ping then a pc2 ip address it's here now we will press enter and here we can see we get the reply now we will try to ping from this uh, pc1 to uh, this uh, dual stack server so here we will give a ping then the ip address so here we can see that ip address it's a 64.100.1.10 and here we can see we get the replies yes once we complete this part one here we can see our completion status uh, it's a 50 out of 100 now we will go to part two configure ipv6 addressing then after configuring this ipv6 addressing we will verify the connectivity in step one assign ipv6 addresses to r2 and LAN devices so coming to our topology here we can see our uh, router r2 also we can see uh, these uh, LAN devices pc3 and pc4 Referring to the addressing table, configure IP addressing for R2 LAN interfaces, PC3 and PC4. The serial interface is already configured. Okay. Coming to our addressing table, here we can see the device R2. First of all, we will configure the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. No, before that we have G0 slash 0. Okay, we will configure this gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Here we can see the IP address okay uh, we will uh, copy this ip address now coming to r2 cli password is cisco enable password is class configure terminal we will go to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 now we are going to set ipv6 address so we already copied it it's here okay also here we can see we have to set this uh, link local address uh, we have to set for each interfaces here we will give ipv6 address fe80 double colon 2 as a link local now we will press enter now we have to bring this interface up i mean the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 uh, we have to give it the command no shutdown okay and coming to our topology here we can see the link between this router r2 and sw3 is up now we will configure the next interface uh, that is uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 so here we can see ipv6 address we will uh, copy this address and uh, coming to r2 we will exit from this uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and then we will go to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 then we will set the ipv6 address it's here also we have to set ipv6 address 
f e a zero double colon two as a link local. Now we will bring this interface up by this command now shutdown. Okay. We will go to our topology and we will verify. Here we can see that the link between this router R2 and SW4 is up. Now we will assign IPv6 address for these end devices in this LAN, PC3 and PC4. So first of all, we will assign uh, for this uh, device PC3. In our addressing table, here we can see IPv6 address for this PC3. Coming to PC3, desktop, IP configuration, and here we can see IPv6 configuration. So IPv6 address, it's here, slash 64, okay, and here we can see the default gateway. IPv6 gateway, it's here. Okay, now we will uh, go to PC4, desktop, IP configuration. We will copy IPv6 address uh, from this addressing table uh, for the device PC4. So here we can see IPv6 configuration slash 64, then the default gateway. Okay, then we will close this PC4. Now we have to verify the connectivity. PC3 and PC4 should be able to ping each other and the dual stack server also. Okay, so we will get the IP address, I mean IPv6 address of PC4. It's here, we will copy it. We will ping from PC3 to, the, to this uh, PC4. So coming to PC3, command prompt. Ping to, I think it's PC4, yes. Press enter. And here we can see we get the replies. Now we will ping from uh, PC3 uh, to this uh, dual stack server. And here we can see IPv6 address for this uh, dual stack server. Okay. We will give a ping 2001 colon db8 colon 100 colon 1 double colon a is that correct yes so we will uh, try it and here we can see we get the replies now here we can see our completion status it's 100 out of 100 right so friends in this video uh, we configured ipv4 and ipv6 interfaces also, after configuring, we verified the connectivity. Now, friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. And if you like our video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. So, stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.